First game of the season for these teams in the 20th overall meeting. This rivalry between the Yellow Jackets and the Panthers. Tonight we call it downtown against Midtown. For them again, Wright can finish down low, but for them, right now, they're having some hard times playing only on the perimeter. Sosa May on the offensive glass. Career high 33 points. Follow jam. And see, this is where you get when you play a smaller lineup and you see that. DeVoe got in trouble. Couldn't collaborate with Wright. Panthers want to shoot it from three-point distance. And it's good from Corey Allen. Guys in there. Thomas has done a good job and Susimi as well. So Simi being able to get a nice little dime back, back cut, three rebounds. You also notice as the players go to what we commonly refer to as the bench, it's more a bunch of spaced out chairs. Josh Okogie who's in the stands. So it just shows a lot going on as far as player development. Off of the turnover and the Panthers turn it into points. First win at Carolina since 2010 for Georgia Tech. Balance crazy three and it falls, Brian. Well, Kane Williams. So Georgia State on the road will go to the locker room with the lead. 38 31 for Rob Lanier's team. Shot clock is now at 10. Williams transfer rules and became eligible in mid December. So to me again underneath Brian. Tough to stack with DeVoe. The other end. This could be a chance for a Georgia State three-point play. It's not worked out well. I think that you give right opportunity to work down there. You see, nice little jump. There. How about that three-pointer from Johnson? Breeze DeVoe has a couple of three-pointers. Sosame underneath, and he's going to the free-throw line as he got around right. Foul on right. This is Parham, full speed. Sosame got back and deflected it away, but here's George Usher. Roberts, three-pointer at the other end. Two minutes to go in regulation. DeVoe, circus shot. Over the head and in, 77-74, Georgia Tech. How about that finish by Michael DeVoe? Jed, you see Justin Roberts come down, Tech not celebrate, and they celebrate too soon, not getting back. Roberts coming up with a three. Got to win it. DeVoe, the dribble, the shot, angles off the rim. Williams' shot comes up well short. And 40 minutes is not enough time to decide the issue. Round. Brian Oliver, we're tied at 83. We have to play more basketball. First game of the year. Georgia State, Georgia Tech, Alvarado, anticipation. Went for the layup and it got blocked. Hustling back, Roberts. Justin Roberts on the get back. Alvarado off to the races. How about Justin Roberts timing the ball and getting that block? Three. Corey Allen pulls up for a three of his own and hits the bottom of the net. Uh, Corey Allen rushing down, knocking down that three. Other corner for Allen. That. Roberts in and out. Triple overtime is straight ahead. 23 points now for Wright. How about extending the range for Justin Roberts? And that's a three and a one-point lead. Georgia State to play a big role in this third overtime run. Although poked away. Williams trying to get by Alvarado, and he lays it in. Still plenty of time. If you're Georgia State, you got to go quick. It's down by four. Oh, Off wow. the glass and in from Roberts. Alvarado misses. That's a rarity. Two-point game. Williams drives. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Free throws coming up. Can he possibly make this second one to tie this game? <laughs> and that first free throw by Moore, which he made, was his first attempt of the night. Can he possibly make his first two attempts coming in triple overtime past midnight in Atlanta, Georgia? To tie this game, he's done it. 
110 all. Usher heaves it. Intercepted. Quadruple overtime. <laughs> As I said, Colin Moore, his first two free throw attempts of the night, which is now the morning. Brian Oliver, it's four minutes past midnight, and we're playing more basketball. Williams uses the other side of the rim effectively, and Georgia State has a two-point lead. They will not go away. Kane Williams did a good job of being able to sell the backdoor cut. Corey Allen came up, but yet Georgia State with a turn with a, a steal. Chance at a three to tie it. Parham from beyond midcourt. And this one is over in quadruple overtime. 123, 120. Georgia State with its first ever win against an ACC program and the first win here at Georgia Tech since 1976 for the Panthers. How about the win for Georgia State and, and Rob Lanier? Being Tremendous performances from both sides of the court, but in the end, the Panthers have enough to win it in four overtime periods, 123 to 120. The city rivalry between downtown and midtown goes to Georgia State. Thanks so long from Atlanta, Georgia. It's the Panthers on top of the Jackets. 123-120 in quadruple OT.